it's hard to classify us in you know two or three words, which I think is a really good thing. We tend to have, um, I would say, an underlying theme of indie rock, but we also utilize different genres and things like that for each song. So I really like that we're not able to be classified as, oh, we sound like this band, or oh, we're this specific genre. And you, you can call us that in two words and that's it. No, we're very complex. And so it's slowly becoming a mix of intricate underground music, but not too intricate with an actual, with an ear for, um, I guess, digestibility and enjoyability, which um, you're not going to hear as much in some of our songs, but where the songs, the new batch of songs that we're starting to get going, lead more in the direction of like Top Shelf, but also with a little bit of asteroids and that we don't give up the curiosity in our writing and the willingness to, to push um, what you can do with song too. There's not a normal process yet, you know? It's been like one of two ways. It's either we flesh it out in the studio after coming up with it from the outside, or we just jam it out in our little practice space, you know? Uh, a lot of times it's very like fetal forms of ideas or songs that I'll think of or Derek will think of, and then um, we'll kind of let it incubate for a little bit mess around with different ideas and then bring it to practice when it feels even just a little bit solid. Um, in Animal Portraits, I am more of, like I said, I reinforce an idea. I'm not there to write the song. I'm there to communicate what's already been written, but through the drums. And so there's not a lot of pressure to make something good. I'm just here to sort of, you know, like a crutch to sort of prop it up a little bit more via drums. What I love about the process actually in this band is it's always a group effort. Even if Eric and Derek do write a song and they bring it in, most of the time we'll all still write our own parts for it. Yeah, Top Shelf actually came to be in the middle of one of our rehearsals. Actually, we are getting, I think it was towards the end of one of our rehearsals where everybody was starting to get pretty tired. And so Phil just started playing uh, a random drum beat and yelling, I want that good stuff at the top of his lungs. And uh, yeah, we just sort of took that and ran with it. My favorite song to play would definitely be Top Shelf. Just Top Shelf. Top Shelf. Like Top Shelf. Top Shelf for sure. Uh, just because my favorite part of being in a band in general is the energy that you get when you play live. Playing live is my f absolute favorite thing, um, especially when you get the crowd moving and jumping with you. It's just you create this connection with the audience that you can't make up. It's everything you want to do when you're little. When you, when you don't get, it's, it's a tantrum is what it is. It, the last song is a tantrum that everyone can enjoy with you at the same time. It, it's always just like a photo finish though with me because I never know if I'm going to have enough energy left to really pull through it. It's just so satisfying every time. And then the build at the end is just a constant crescendo. It's such a long just build, and it just kind of like explodes in smoke, if that even makes sense, because it doesn't end really concrete. It's, it's just, it's gonna be easily the most satisfying thing to play.